He just lost the election. Bernie Sanders just lost the election. Did China make progress in ending poverty? No. What hey, Bernie, the, um, was done play by, to the audience by, here a little bit. When he says now, that communist dictators kill millions of people, look it like you agree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not like you're planning yeah. your third but honeymoon, ass. about the white knight for him. This is exactly what the problem with politics is about. All right, question. Did China make progress in ending extreme poverty over the last... He just lost the election. Bernie Sanders just lost the election. Did China make progress in ending poverty? No. No, Bernie. (laughs) Certainly not compared to the United States, dummy. It's not even close. By throwing the poorest Chinese citizens into labor camps and killing them, (laughs) the number of people objectively under the poverty line went (laughs) down. Bernie's going to be the next... He's going to have his own signature line of Nike sneakers. Look at how rich we are. Look at this. Air birdies. A wealth, Just do it. A wealth of Purell. Oh, man. Thank you very much. Is this what the Kardashians feel like? Man. <laughs> I don't know. They're Dave. bottom heavy. <laughs> He just lost the election. Bernie just lost the election. If people are listening, he just lost the election. Yeah. If we're going to look at the world the way it is. General rule, don't praise Hitler or the Nazis ever. And don't say that communist China. Here's the thing. In a vacuum, if you would say that communist China is, yeah. is better off today than 30 years ago as far as the poorest among them. Sure. That may or may not be true. But it does not exist in a vacuum when compared to the United States or other free enterprise economies. Even South Korea. You don't go, have to go all the way across the globe into another hemisphere. China may or may not have improved slightly. And again, like you said, Bernie, we can't trust the Chinese because you were condemning Donald Trump for taking them at their word that they were containing the coronavirus. But we don't have to, because you can compare it to every other non-communist country, unless Bernie believes that the poorest in China, in Cuba, are better off than the poorest in the United States. And the truth is, it seems like he does. That's why he doesn't understand that he shouldn't make this argument. This is the ism. And if you don't have an ism, people say, I don't believe in ideologies. Well, guess what? Bernie does. Biden, maybe not so much. Trump, maybe not so much. But Bernie does. Someone like Ted Cruz does. Bernie does have an ideology. And if you don't understand ideology, and if you don't understand your ism, what your worldview is, doesn't mean that you have to follow lockstep with the Republican Party, but you do have to understand how you view the world. Otherwise, you have no hope of understanding why Bernie Sanders in 2020, when running for the president of the United States, is even thinking of implying that China has done anything to reduce poverty you have to understand the isms his sucks you know what's in here it's just water that's why they call it acting but it actually smells garlicky there's something wrong with the water i think it's going through the ice maker and we don't have we don't have the baking soda in the fridge if you like this video uh Subscribe, hit notifications, or just check back every single day because we upload a new video every single day. And this was actually taken from the full show, a full hour show that we upload every single Thursday. Click that right now. Go watch the entire show. If you don't want to, you don't, you don't have to. But if you, if you stop by, you know, just don't bother me. I'm going to enjoy my garlic water.